You did find a sweet bread. Okay, let's go eat it outside. Good morning, internet people. Welcome back, this is Sierra, and I have Little Man here with me. Hi. And today we are still in Prague, and Little Man and I are enjoying some not Czech Trdelnik. Trdelnik are actually Hungarian, but they're delicious, and they're also for Christmas, and it's not Christmas, but as I said previously in another video, if you can get past the fact that it's not Czech and that it's not Christmas, they're delicious, and they're really fun to have. But anyways, Mr. is not feeling 100% today, so he is not coming out with us, unfortunately. However, um, Little Man and I still wanted to go out and have a little bit of an adventure. Can I have your hand, please? And so we decided to go into Prague for the day and let Mr. stay at home and be a stick in the mud while we have an adventure in the Campa Island slash Old and Newtown area. So this is what it looks like. We're coming from uh, Moscow to Namnesty, which is back there, and there's a metro stop or a tram stop up. Do you want to be in it? Hi, I'm on television. Hi, Mom. Hi, on the TV. You're on the TV. Hi. 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 <laughs> Da 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 So if any movie buffs out there, if you've seen Mission Impossible, all of them were filmed in Prague, but this place specifically should look familiar from one of the first couple movies that was filmed about 20 years ago, is there so? Um, in the movie, I think Tom Cruise chased one of the bad guys down these steps. And it was right, of course, at the end of Charles Bridge, which is actually pretty cool. And I didn't know that before I lived in Prague, so it's okay if you don't know that now. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what? Are we going there? Yeah, we're going there. That's where we're going. Yeah. So. Over there? Do you see that wall over there? That is where you get to draw on the wall. I'm on wall? Yeah, you can. You gotta eat your turdown leak first, but then you can draw on the wall if you want. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is really neat, huh? Hey guys, so little man's over here playing with the water fountain, but we're currently at the John Lennon Wall, which is another one of my favorite places in Prague. Not because it's the John Lennon Wall, but because it's the place in Prague that I feel like every time you visit, it's a little bit different. For example, in a little bit, you'll see a clip of little man, I promise him he could draw on the wall. And that makes it a little bit different every single time. And people come and sign their signatures. And then I think either the city of Prague hires or just random street creators come here and paint on the wall. When I lived here nine years ago, um, my friend's brother is a street artist and so he came and he painted a big eye on the wall and it lasted for like over a year so it's very cool and if you have a chance to come here I feel like it's one of those places that everyone comes to but it's also like not overrated if that makes sense it's really cool uh, who cares about the John Lennon wall there's a fountain there's no water try it again you got to try it a few times it's not working is it broken well, that's silly. I, I well, yeah, it's working. So we're leaving the John Lennon Wall now. It's another shot of it so you guys can see it one more time. But I realized when I was standing there talking about it before, I never actually told you the history of the John Lennon Wall. Now, the history that I know might not actually be true, um, but it's just what I was told when I was here for the first time and kind of what I've been telling people when they come visit with me. Um, the history, I guess, is that back during the war, um, someone painted a picture of John Lennon to help encourage people to like be peaceful and not fight anymore and make love, not war, all of that cheesy stuff. Um, 
and then the city of Prague painted over it. And the next day the same person painted it again and they painted it over again. And they kept going and repainting and repainting and eventually they just gave up. And then it came what it is today, kind of a place to come and make memories and take pictures and remember John Lennon, I guess. But other thing I want to show you before is on the way back from the John Lennon Wall or to whichever way you come, there's a beautiful river shot. See how pretty it is? And then on the other way, you have a little, I don't know what it's called in English actually, a um, wow. mill, that's what it's called, a mill. Yeah, that goes around. Uh, little man's looking at some graffiti down there. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a boat. Mm -hmm. Do you see the boat? Yep. You want me to get you a big one? Okay. From the boat. <laughs> Go for it. Yes, yeah, fine. Oh. Just don't fall in the water, okay? Flash, yeah. Okay. There's something really cool coming up on your left. Tell me when you see it, okay? You see anything? There's babies. There's babies? Yep. Are they real babies? Yeah. They're real babies? Yeah. Oh. He has big butts. They do have big butts, don't they? Go see it. Creepy babies, front and center. These are the same babies that are on the Zhishkov TV tower, and they were created by the same artist who did the upside down horse sculpture in Lucerna that I showed you guys a couple of days ago. I guess the story is that the reason their faces are blocked out so that the TV <laughs> doesn't corrupt the youth of the Czech Republic or something, but they're interesting. The lone man doesn't know what he thinks of them. Yellow penguins. Really expensive wine and beer terrace. Yeah, the it might crash the penguins. I don't think it's gonna crash into the penguins. It might though. Another and here's another beautiful place in Prague. You come from the Charles Bridge from the Melostrantzian down Misty tram stop and walk down the bridge and then go to the right down the Mission Impossible steps and just keep going. You'll pass the creepy babies and you'll see this beautiful island. Um, in the spring and summer, I see a lot of people when I lived here hanging out with picnics and things like that. And I think it's early spring. Um, they did witch burnings here, which it's symbolic, but I remember in the spring one year my friends and I went and it was really fun. They did, like they had a whole bunch of like festival booths and they had like a fake witch burning and I don't know, it was kind of interesting. So they do lots of festivals and stuff here. And then in the summertime, there are usually music festivals on the other side of Kampa and they're really fun to go to. So if you're in the summer, you can check it out. Or if you're here really any of the time of year, you can just come and enjoy the green space. I don't know where everybody is. I feel like there should be more people hanging out here today, but it's too beautiful, I guess. They're in their offices? I don't know. Ooh, good catch, pup. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, taking the ball back to his daddy. <laughs> Ready, throw it! <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Everywhere we come, you find a dog to play ball with. <laughs> wow, someone's excited about Children's Island. <laughs> Whoa! What? It is kind of a big hill, huh? It is a park! <laughs> and I lost my kid. Hi again, so we are on probably our last 
stop of our little mother-son date, I think. No promises, but we just arrived here at Children's Island. And it's a giant, massive clan round in the middle of the Vltava for children that was actually destroyed in, I think it was the 2012 flood, which I was actually here for. Um, so since then, this has been all rebuilt, and it's like a big green place just for kids to play. That's great. Nobody's here right now because school is still in session, but little man's homeschooled and we don't live here, so he can play as much as he wants. Ready? Go! Pull yourself up! Here you go, yep. <laughs> what just happened? Did you fall down? No! No? What did you do? This part, the longer we're in it, is really, really amazing. Actually, I didn't even notice this before, but like there's an entire children's park for over here. Within the children's park, there's like these like adult 14 plus, although everyone playing on it is not over 14 except for me, um, like exercise equipment. So in theory, you could come here in the morning to your small children and like work out while they play. So like, for example, that one right there is supposed to work on like your hips and stuff. And then there's like a pull-up thing here. Like, a, I don't know what it's called. Rowing thing here. And then there's like a pull-up, um, a pull-up. There's like a sit-up bar there. And little man is currently playing on, I don't even know what this is called. Isn't it like an elliptical? Like a not electric elliptical? I don't know, but it's really fun. So you could get all your exercise done while your kids play. That's actually really good, especially for moms who don't have time to exercise and they're chasing their littles around all day. Where are you going? I am. You're at the park. Are you climbing a mountain? Yeah. Okay, that's what you said you were doing earlier. That makes a lot I'm more sense. I'm walking. You're walking, okay. Look, on my feet. Oh yeah, you are walking. You know you could just walk in place. That wouldn't require any machinery. <laughs> He's getting his mini ski on. Nope. Okay. Or burp. No singing or burping. Ah! <laughs> ah! 